Liverpool may have won the race for Argentina and Benfica midfielder Enzo Fernandez and agreed on a deal ahead of a June 2023 transfer according to fresh reports from South America. It is suggested that Anfield officials, who are still being led in procedures by the outgoing sporting director Julian Ward, have reached an agreement with Benfica over a deal to bring Fernandez to Merseyside in June. The report claims the Reds struck early in a bid to fend off anticipated interest from both Manchester United and Manchester City. But who is Enzo Fernandez? What do we know about the young midfielder and is he the right signing for Jurgen Klopp to make? Born in January 2001 in a suburb of Buenos Aires, named after South American and Copa Libertadores legend Enzo Francesoli, Enzo Fernandez joined his boyhood club River Plate at the age of just five years old. After spending 13 years working his way through the youth ranks, he made his debut for his beloved River shortly after his 18th birthday as his side were embarrassingly eliminated 3-0 in the Copa Libertadores by Ecuadorian outfit LDU Quito. Despite making several appearances from the substitute bench in his debut season, Fernandez would spend the next year on loan at fellow top-flight Argentine side Defensa y Justicia. Here, Fernandez would establish himself as one of South America's top young midfield talents. He won the 2020 Copa Sudamericana during his loan spell, the South American equivalent of the Europa League, with his performances impressing his parent club River Plate so much that manager Marcelo Gallardo recalled him from his loan midway through the season. Fernandez immediately earned a starting role at River Plate and was awarded a new five-year deal. He racked up eight goals and six assists in just 19 games during the start of the 2022 season, which piqued the interest of many European clubs. In June 2022, River Plate reached an agreement with Portuguese side Benfica for the transfer of Fernandes for a fee of just €10 million Euros plus €8 million in add-ons, a price which seems an absolute steal following his astronomical rise today. Both clubs and Fernandes agreed for him to stay at River until the end of the club's Copa Libertadores campaign, but following a disappointing last 16 exit, on the 14th of July, Benfica confirmed the deal, awarding Fernandes the legendary number 13 shirt as previously worn by Eusebio. Enzo has been absolutely tearing up in both the Champions League and Primera Liga for Benfica, with the Lisbon side unbeaten at the top of the Portuguese league at the time of recording and pipping Paris Saint-Germain to top their Champions League group, which also included Juventus. These impressive displays for Benfica soon attracted the interest of the Argentine national team. Making his debut in September 2022, he was included in the Argentina World Cup squad in November, despite having just one cap to his name. At the World Cup for Argentina, Fernandez entered the fray as a substitute in a group stage class for Mexico, scoring a stunning 25-yarder to become Argentina's second youngest ever goal scorer at a World Cup, second only to Lionel Messi, of course. With his place cemented in Lionel Scaloni's side, at the time of recording, Enzo Fernandez is playing a significant midfield role in the Argentines' bid for World Cup glory, something which has only added to his price tag for Liverpool. In terms of his playstyle, Fernandez is capable of playing in all three midfield roles, be it holding, box-to-box -box, or further forward, he has an immaculately versatile and rounded skill set in all areas of his game. A confident and composed passer of the ball at short and long range, with a passing accuracy of 87.7% across all competitions this season, he averages a whopping 81.1 passes per game too. Whilst being relatively average in build and standing at 5 foot 11, he is certainly not one to shy away from a challenge. With a determination and battle-hardened tackling style, he boasts an impressive 66.4% dual success ratio and averages more than two tackles and interceptions per game, whilst also impressing in aerial duels. With this bulky build, he also boasts great balance and a low centre of gravity, with fantastic acceleration and speed to burst through the midfield, perfect for counter-attacking and transition defence. He isn't necessarily a midfielder who will dribble his way through the park, preferring quick, short passing movements, though that is something that would definitely favour Liverpool's style under Jurgen Klopp. And in front of goal, as demonstrated for all to see during this World Cup, he is a serious threat. With 10 goal contributions this season to his name from just 30 matches, he could soon provide some much needed attacking intent to Liverpool's midfield. Therefore, it's clear to see that he is simply the perfect midfield signing and should reports from South America come to fruition, Liverpool could have themselves a phenomenal asset in the midfield for the next decade. Would you like to see the Reds go all in for Enzo Fernandez? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.